beautiful Bruxville, Florida for the first round of the Chess.com Invitational presented by our friends at Discraft. Who jumps out to the first lead of the season? You'll find out live on the Disc Golf Network. Philo, Kenny, let's watch the Disc Golf. Yeah, video. there's a low there's a low limb. See that limb coming down right uh -huh. there? That's pretty low for for everything. So you got to keep it super low. And that branch right there, you want to get under for backhand. That's about Look as good as you can do that. with a backhand. Chris Dickerson yep. nearly bouncing it off the koozie. Rises and falls, and they made it really flat over there. So it's more like a parking lot now. Morella. Whoa. That's one way to start the season. Back to AB, putting for birdie just outside the circle. And there's only about a 20 foot area to his right that's open. And then on the other side of that is more woodsy area. Two for two from circle two for Anthony Barella. Let's see if he can dial in the right speed in line here. That's a little low. Look, and get I mean, a lift. Oh, it's got a lift. Wow. Oh, it's got a ground skip. Here we it's go. Got it all. How about oh, them apples? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Clumps and stuff. Oh, yeah. They must have planted some seed in there. That looks really pretty. Nice. My socky. Look. Ooh, He's yeah. got that look. Same for Ricky here. Yep. Up and in for Wysocki, another banger. Heimberg. Calvin's going backhand here. That means he's going to try and get the full distance out of this. Ricky came up a little short just to take the trouble out of play. And that's what you do. If you, if you go a little short on this hole, you take the trouble out of play. And Calvin's Wow, set. what a shot from Calvin Heimberg dribbling. It just passed the bullseye. That was incredible. There's a little drop off behind that basket as well. I think that's another reason he was probably laying it up. Not just an elevated basket, but drop off behind. Robinson swinging this a little wide, coming inside door. Oh, park job. No reason not to give this one everything because there's a little backstop right behind it. Straight uphill behind it. You can't go too long. <laughs> Bang. And in it goes for Anthony Barella. Perfect. There from AB. They'll get him in there. Four under through eight. That was Gannon Burr. There we go. Now we're starting to see the fellas send him home. <laughs> Finds the bottom. Not like, not likely people are going to bogey this hole, but there is a few spots on this hole that bogey's prevalent. Heimberg going high over the branch. Hold that angle. There you go, oh. Calvin Heimberg. Oh. The problem with this one is getting it up high enough to get up on top is then you're running, running into some limbs that are hanging down Creating from the, the upper canopy, part of those right. trees. Yeah. If you get it super high, you can hit those limbs. There we go. He's got it in the space. Will it have the speed to carry? I think that's it right there. Gannon Burr oh. bounces oh. it off the pole practically oh. and skips it deep into circle two. This hole has produced some scores, usually not the good ones. Yeah, a couple of people have been having a hard time just landing safe here. Mm -hmm. Santa, though, that looks really nice. Yeah. Right down the middle. That's exactly the way you want to throw it. Wow. No one's been able to get past the six under number. We've got maybe a couple guys out there that could get past it. If their rounds go good the rest For of the way. For sure. Rick could do it. Yeah. Anthony Barella. Bang. There it is. Nicolas Antela. Wonderful performance. And a share of the lead as a result. B could chase him down. Same with Rick and Robinson. More like a normal scorecard there. Some world champions, some major winners in the top ten. Looks like he got in there right. towards the edge of the circle. Okay. Barella, much better position. Yeah, this one's right in the middle of the fairway. That was the right pace too. Asking for it to get down. Wow, he tried to throw that in. Almost got to the bottom of the bucket. Ooh. Macbeth in his second. Oh, he was well short of the corner still. Yeah, pinched off, but he still Say, made it work. What? What? How did he do that? Ken, how did he do that? I really don't know how he made that work. Um, I guess poking hope. hope. Wow. <laughs> poke and hope, man. <laughs> prayer was answered for Mr. McBeth. I thought he would come up like 60 feet short on this angle. All right, let's see what happens here. He's, Ooh, he's taking down some window up okay, there. there. Okay, it is, right above inside. that tree. Yep, there you go. And he's flirting with those trees on the right over there. And yep, he catches a little bit of that one coming in. Yep. <laughs> wow. Drop in after that drive. Wow. Exceptional. On 12, Barella. This is one of the biggest drops from T to fairway floor at the bottom. I'd say it's a good 75, 80 foot of drop on this hole. Super long carry as well. You're going to need some big air to get close here at the 12th and Barella going sidearm. It's a great drive here. That was one heck of a sidearm to get to this and position inside circle his, one. His sidearm is a weapon. Most Oof. don't have. Yeah, circle one. 
Oh. A.B. sees his way to a share of the lead. And keeping it clean like he's doing right now is going to bode well in the end uh, for him to make that, get that victory is staying away from that bogey. Absolutely. Don't give him back, man. Nope. The Clemens tee shots. Keep all those birdies that you earn. No, he's oh, been doing. Oh, look my. at this shot from Chris Clemens. <laughs> this hole sets up great for a lefty or a, a, a big side armor. Yeah. Back to Waisaki. Looks like he's got a bit of airspace there with the sidearm. Yeah. I like that. That'll work. Not due until we were done. 6.30, so. 7 o'clock. Yeah, okay. we should be good. Yeah. Paul McBeth, yeah. second shot away, playing the sidearm out and around. Looks Great really speed, good. speed, good angle. Oh, takes the low line there, keeps it heading to the left. There's a cliff right side of that hole. Live with Gossage. It is OB. What a vicious rip that man has. Oh, wow. That ended up pretty good. It looked like it was could be in the middle of one of those clumps. And My bad. He no. was only at three down oh, coming into right. that hole. Yeah. That eagle gets him to five, so now he's one off the lead is Aaron Gossage. Seems like the disc is coming out nice and flat for Mr. Gossage. Yeah. Morella. That looks pretty tasty. He's got to get past that little corner. Oh, yep. my. Perfect. That looks... Exceptional. That's exactly where you want to be, right in that straw. He's right in the right in there. Seven under being the lead, and that's only one person at seven. This could be really nice. This is gonna fade, but will it fade on time? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Calvin Heimberg in business at the 16th. Macbeth sitting where he started at even. Ooh. Woo! Oh. This is gonna swing back left. I don't think it's going to get quite as oh maybe it will look oh. at that big flare skip to try to join calvin heimberg oh that's it just run back there well, all these looks kind of like circle up. two guys oh you're right ian <laughs> foot in mouth and <laughs> disc in basket for paul <laughs> mcbeth one of the best putts we've seen him make this afternoon yeah there's two three looks like three really good shots there are in the there you hey. go. Anthony Barella threads the needle, slides it into circle one, a few steps past the bullseye, long of the target. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly where you want to be throwing your second shot. But whew, to get there. Will it have enough push after he yes, hits the ground? Yes, it yes, does. Yes. Ricky Wysocki bases it at the 17th. That gets him to six under. It does. That's a scary guy to have on your heels. There's a cliff wall over there that's OB to the right, so you don't want to you don't want to get it too high and fluffy. Because it can find that right side OB. Again and burr, disc away. Oh, rolling oh. towards the lake. He's ready to throw, man. He's yes. got that plastic in hand. Gannon Burr on the fairway after one, throwing two on 18. Ooh, that's that's pretty that's, good. That's pretty good. That didn't look good at first. Now, at least Optical this is, illusion. They're dancing going up the hill in that wind. Four under to even in the last two, two holes. Two holes, yeah. That's a tough way to end the day. Gannon Urgh. finishes with a five, four out of five birdies. Nearly yeah, the double turkey. Five out of six, sorry. Five yep. out of the last six to five under. Those are big birdies, too, where people are taking bogeys. Yeah. You know, it's not just a birdie par situation. And the field just, just catching get, up to Anthony Brown a little there. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah. right, yeah. He was four behind him going into that hole, now he's one behind him. I looked at it on the radar before I came out here today, and it, it's not very thick. Pretty thin line. Why Saki up the hill? This so, is third. I don't think we're going to have a ground soaking event. Like there he is. Go. Go. Solid right. play there from Ricky Wysocki. Leaves himself with no work to complete this round. And we'll maintain a share of the lead. And there is your day one of chess.com invitation presented by Discraft. It was eventful. That yeah, was fun, are. man. Such a cool course, a new twist on a, on a course that's been around for a while. I think they did a fantastic job with it, and it's going to make for a very exciting and interesting finish here. Hey, everybody, Nate Doss here, and thank you so much for watching. For more awesome videos just like this, click subscribe, hit that bell icon, and never miss a new video. And for live disc golf, come join us on the Disc Golf Network. We'll see you in the fairways.